Hi there, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be taking you through indeterminate limit forms. So in our previous video I took you through the determinate limit forms and we move to the indeterminate limit forms. If this is the first time you're on this channel, comment subscribe and visit the old videos to also help you understand the concept of limits. So what are indeterminate limit forms? So in mathematics, whenever there is any computation and it has more than one possibility, we see it's indeterminate because Every calculation is supposed to bring out a unique output or something which we cannot, I mean, something which we can rely on, okay? But we shouldn't have anything which has the possibility of being this without any form of what, accuracy or reliability. Okay, let me use the word reliability, okay? So let's see the various indeterminate limit forms and you understand what I'm trying to say. So the first indeterminate limit form is having plus or minus infinity plus minus or plus infinity i want you to understand that this is what this equation means or this expression has two possibilities either you take the plus infinity right plus or minus infinity the top will go for the top that is the first possibility and the second one is what now minus infinity plus or positive infinity so this is what this is this here implies so this is an indeterminate form one will ask if you have positive infinity and you say minus or plus negative infinity, will it be zero? Somebody will say yes, yeah, it will be zero. Somebody will say no, it won't be zero. This is because infinity does not have a fixed value. This infinity here can be a number like 10000 right? And this infinity here can be what? 165489. This and this, when you find a difference, it will never give you zero. So this can give a possibility of, I mean, several possibilities. You can have zero all right yes there's a possibility that these two infinite values should be of the same value yes there will be zero but aside that it can have infinite possible what solutions therefore we say this is what indeterminate this or this is indeterminate you can't determine it okay so let's see the second one the second one is positive infinity right all over what zero positive infinity all over what zero remember that any number right over zero is infinity so in limits you know that if you have two over zero this is the same as what infinity okay but now infinity itself over zero is it going to be infinity that is also a question what will this be right what will this be infinity over what zero what will this be right so now because of this you can't tell right so this also indeterminate indeterminate okay this also indeterminate so let's see the third one. So for the third one, um, let's say for the third one, we're going to have something like zero times infinity. Zero times infinity. So the question is, when you multiply zero by infinity, can the zero takes away our infinite value? That is also a problem. Can this zero take away the infinite value? So it's it's somehow not um certain that though any number times zero is zero yes all right yes it's zero but zero times infinity is something which we don't straight away accept that it is zero okay yeah so it has a lot of provings and backings which makes this indeterminate now let's see this indeterminate form infinity over infinity you know any number by itself is one so this should have given us what one but remember infinity here as i said can be any number this can also be any number so it's pos it's possible you can get this infinity to be what just six thousand and this to be what seven thousand obviously when you cancel it won't give you one right so it has different different possibilities other than the one you may think of right and beside any number by infinity two should be zero and so infinity by infinity do you think it's going to be zero those are all the different possibilities you can face right for that reason this becomes an indeterminate form then finally we have um zero over zero right so for zero over zero yes any number over zero over any number is zero right if you have zero over two this is zero but now you have the zero over zero itself do you think it's going to cancel to give us one how can you tell me that sorry yep so zero over zero cannot give us one and you know any number over zero should, should have been zero so because of these different possibilities, we don't accept any solution for this. We call it indeterminate. 
limit form okay so now how do we apply this in limit forms whenever we encounter this indeterminate limit forms what we do is we try to eliminate them otherwise we can't find our limit or else our limit doesn't exist okay so let's see this first problem here i have limits as x approaches one of the expression x squared minus three x plus two right all over x minus one so when i put in my functional value what am i getting i'm getting one squared minus three multiplying one plus two all over one minus one right so this is giving me here i'm getting one minus or three that's negative two plus so i'm getting zero over zero this is a typical indeterminate form so what do you do because of that you need to remove this sort i mean this continuity okay so that let's see if we can simplify our expression by finding the root of this equation so we can take away the discontinuity here so when we simplify the numerator we should get something like x minus one x minus two okay x minus one x minus two so straight away you know you ask yourself what factors of two that when you add you're going to get negative three and that's negative one negative two right so you simply make a negative one negative two and you are going to go okay so once you have that all over x minus one is that not it this cancels this away and we get x minus two as x approaches one i simply get one minus two which is equal to negative one so my limit is simply negative one we escape this indeterminate form that is what i'm trying to illustrate here okay that is what i'm trying to illustrate here so thank you for being with me in this video don't forget to like subscribe and share